Hello everybody, Mattis Faction here, and today is a bit of an unboxing, as it were. Uh, today's beverage check is the uh, NyQuil I just chugged. Uh, why is it that NyQuil goes down so smooth, but DayQuil tastes like a battery being charged? What is the deal with that? Anyway, so before we get into it, Forest Tanks, Lancelot Leather, Lenny Kravitz. There we go. Let's see here. You stay on camera. Uh, before we get into it, I thought I would, uh, you know, again, start to show off a few toys, a few little knickknacks. Uh, sometimes I say doodads, but now doodads are... Uh, cleaning pokey stick, so I won't say doodads. Uh, oh, you know, I almost forgot. We've got to get a couple of uh, couple of ninja things in there. There we go. I like this one. Has a nice, uh, nice shape, nice texture. Very nice. But uh, check this out. Tinker Toys, a classic since 1913. Uh, when I was a kid, I had Tinker Toys, and one of my most uh, fondest memories was I had a bunk bed, and uh, I didn't listen, and uh, so I didn't put them away, and then I rolled off my bunk bed and landed on all the Tinker Toys, and it really hit, but uh, these are these are real. I built this guy already. Uh, yeah, these are these are the world's smallest Tinker Toys. Uh, it took forever to build. I just thought it was something fun, but look. This guy, his name is Stickman. So of course I had to build, I had to build Stickman. Hey everybody, Stickman coming at you from Cold Steel. Oops, he just broke off his head. Uh, so, you know. I had to do it. I had to. And you'll see why in just a moment. Why don't you go ahead and hang out there, stick man? Watch what we got going on. Today's package is from USA Midway. And uh, if you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. Today's unboxing tool would be Zequil. I find this tool to be... Uh, very good at all the things that uh, a quill should be good at. Careful, I don't want to hit you, stick man. But, uh, you know, let's just let's get all this shenaniganry out of the way. Bam! <laughs> so. I was without a Formax for a while, and I missed it, but it went to a very excellent home, and I'm glad that I had a void in my heart. Try not to damage the box. And uh, so, as many of you know, these recently went on sale, and I couldn't. I couldn't pass it up. Look at that. And this is the old logo. So, you know, if that means anything to you, this is uh, pre-GSM. So, you know, Take that for what it is. Ooh. There's just something so satisfying about a triad lock kicking in. Yep, that feels like home. That feels like home. And, uh, yeah, so the old one, I forgot what steel it was. Os 8? Os 10? One of those. Uh, this one's S35 VN. Nice stone wash. There we 
we go. It's got really cool G10 hand. Oh, you know what? You know, I could just tell you or I could just show you. There you go. There's some statistics. Handle six inches long. G10. Weight 10.1 ounce. Blade four inch. There you go. Uh, yeah, so this is the number 62 Rum 4 Max. And, uh, you know, the scales I could tell already feel better. The pocket clip is reversible. I wish I had an old one to compare it to. I might have to snag one anyway. But, you know, this one feels just as, uh, Secure as the other one. It's essentially the exact same thing, just different materials. Maybe a little better build quality. Was this one made in the USA? I don't think it was. Yeah, Taiwan. It says it right on the right on the blade. Come on. Go to program. So uh, you know, for a cut test. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> uh, I found the biggest, beefiest thing I could cut with. Or cut with this uh, fish I don't eat fish but for the Formex I'll make an exception uh, here we are big old uh, Swedish fish you know I, I heard uh, you know everything in Sweden's bigger but uh you know Let's see what the uh, Formax can go up against the uh, old uh, Viking fish. Just a little rock cut, and uh, it goes right through it, bones and all. Look at that. I mean, it just it, it didn't even notice any bones. Now let's go down the spine here. That's where the biggest bones are. Look at that. You can see the edge. Look at that. Ooh. There we go. And you know, you just toss this piece of the fish away and throw this right on the fire and uh, you know you throw that away you could sing a happy song fish heads fish heads roly poly fish heads fish heads fish heads eat them up yum in the morning Anyway, but, uh, you know, let's see how it goes through a stack of fish. Uh, we stack them three high over here in America. Ooh, like butter. Ask a fish head anything you want to. Boom. It won't answer because it can't talk so yeah you know this was just a quick uh quick opening of my new formax um so far i must say it's great obviously uh, it's excellent for food prep it just goes right through the uh the fish but i don't eat fish so i mean i kind of just wasted all this fish. My son loves fish. Maybe he'll eat these. You can tell it has that tough exterior, but inside is, a, you know, the succulent fish meat in the middle. Mm. Succulent fish meat. Yummy. Today on Matisfaction, we talk about succulent fish meat. Look at that. Happy little fish meat. I think that NyQuil's kicked in. That looks weird. Anyway, so the uh, Cold Steel Formax got these fish guts on here. Uh, I had the other one, and my friend immediately closed it on his finger. You know who you are. And uh, it bit him good. 
today we're not gonna do that test. We're gonna we're gonna bypass that one and go straight into the we'll do further testing on this bad boy. There's a there's a nice look down the spine. It's a chunky boy. Yeah, look at that. I think the other one was also G10. It's been a while. I probably should have researched before opening this, but this is just a opening, not a comparison. Not a testing. I mean, we did a cut test. But this is more of a, hey, check it out. Look what I got. I got another Formax. I missed my other one. But I know it's being used. Hopefully abused. These things are meant to be thrashed. Oh, let's do some uh, size comparisons. Here's the quill. Uh, here's a Solaris. What's another knife that everybody seems to have? Oh. Let me go ahead and wiggle that bad boy out. Bow. Go ahead and stack that right there. Uh, what else? What's another thing that people have? Let's see he. Let's see he. Let's see. Oh. A lot of people have a sea snake. Let's go ahead and move the start. Oh yeah, I've been, I've been putting the sea snake to use. I find I don't like it on cardboard. And the reason being, as you can see here, uh, I'll cut and then it gets to the choil and then the cardboard builds up. But you know, that's, that's a, that's not, we're not talking about the sea snake, we're talking about the uh, Formex. But there's the blinding sea snake uh what else we got let's see what else what's something that everybody has come on matt come on come on now come on now let's see let's see here let's see what everybody got let's see oh we got this uh cool this cool thing uh last time i brought this out i smashed it into the edge of one of my knives, so I will not do that this time. Let's see, what else? I was putting some stuff away. I was. I was. Let's see. Oh, here we go. A lot of people have the uh, arc form. Oh, look at that. Also stonewashed. Uh, so, you know, there's a couple of good comparisons there. Let me close that. Let me go ahead and zip. And, uh, yeah. I gotta take that to work. Put it with my sweet wash. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And, uh, so, you know, that's pretty much all I got for you. Uh, the purple drink is really working its magic. And, uh, yeah. This is a pretty cool knife. I gotta do a video on this quick. Arc form. I've been chasing one down for a while. And I finally got one. Cold Steel Formax. The, the, the real one. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's the real one. It, it is the real one, but, like... There's a made a USA one, and then there's a made in Italy one. This is just, uh, you know, the upgraded made in Taiwan one. Gotta get those fish guts off. But, uh, you know, I like that the pocket clip actually is stonewashed along with the blade. And the stonewashing, I can already tell, is better on here than it was on the other Formex. <laughs> But, you know, pretty cool. Uh, so, on that note, I'll catch you next time.